Hello, my soccer universe, and welcome to the La Liga review for the midweek. Here are some mostly highlights, but actually there were quite a few interesting storylines. Um, it would be so tempting to just say, yeah, Real Madrid, Benzema, and Angelotti are the biggest ones. Uh, it's the biggest news story. They are just exciting at the moment, and uh, no, no one's going to stop them. But I just put so much focus, in a way, on Real Madrid uh, for the last review. So for this one, I decided, okay, Atleti, still probably the best squad in the league, but not the best team at the moment, still struggling. And But as the headline, and I know I should get a Rio shirt. For me, the return of Radamel Falcao, getting a second goal in the second game. That's a nice feel-good story. So the return of the Tiger, that's it for this week my uh also very now number three in honor of his father that to me is the big story um it's not where we're gonna start though we have to start with atletico madrid against getafe and i chose that jersey because another south american uh scored his i'm not sure if it's his first goals of the season probably they might be but atletico madrid found themselves down to getafe at half half time and then an Alenia red card definitely uh, tilted the match in favor of Atleti. And then Luis Suarez, uh, right after that uh, card, gets an E-closing e in the 90th and winner. We know Atleti does, does look good, but in our this is exactly how Atleti likes to win matches. So there you go. As I said, return of the Tiger. Rayo is a promoted team that actually likes to attack. And this is the one of the best things that you can have. Uh, Garcia gave them already an early, early, the very real, real taken goal, then uh, an own goal uh, gives an equalizer to Bilbao. And then the game is going back and forth in many, in, in, in many ways, it was rather ra ra even then in the last minute, in the 96th BB uh, free kick, and Falcao had, 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 had it in. I mean, that's a pretty special story. Rayo is any, any, anyway one, one of those Spanish teams that uh, I think especially from outside of Spain probably have many admirers in many ways and yeah it's pretty nice and I'm saying the best set of jer jerseys uh, this year are Rayos in my opinion. Um, first win for Espanyol hence they're on the number two spot here. Yeah but yeah, whatever. Uh, the big one was Sevilla Valencia, but it was not 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 the big game. I um, you know, we were having dinner and then I said, oh, there was Sevilla Valencia, and at that point it was already three 0 for Valencia. First goal by Papu Gomez, nice Lamela assist, then a freak on goal by Lato. <laughs> Watch it, absolutely freak on goal, and then Rafa minute twenty second makes it uh, three one, a uh, three nil. And then right after that, uh, Valencia can pull one back through Hugo Duro in the 31st. But um, Valencia in red was very, really weird. Because they were playing in red, and this is not a Valencia color to me, especially red and black, that, that, that doesn't make any sense. But uh, because of that, uh, the coach of Sevilla uh, needed to change his shirt because it looked too close to what Valencia was wearing. Rather funny scene there. Or he said, uh, Real Madrid, yeah, uh, since he was, wasn't happy, he gets a hat trick. Bonzema scores, scores one. Uh, he had a goal, the de, de I think, hit the second goal by Bonzema. Uh, Alaba make, makes it, he stops the ball with his shoulder, but lets it go forward and take, and that's how it kites the ball uh, forward. Really amazing, am, a, amazing stuff, and I agree with pundits that I don't think it was necessarily accidental. He, he knows exactly what he, he's doing. And Bosema at the moment, I think he's a superstar in the league. And not many would have thought that a while, a, a while ago. And Real Madrid really, really look um, uh, convincing at the moment. I said Asensio got a hat-trick. Uh, Isco scored. Carlo making everyone happy. Uh, yesterday, a rather entertaining game between Granada and Real Sociedad. Where Real Sociedad was largely the better team. However, uh, Sanchez gives Granada the lead. Uh, in the second half, uh, Elustondo gets the equalizer, Miguel uh, Merino puts them ahead and at that point Sociedad is actually cruising, however they give away a penalty that Mia converts, um, however Elustondo, the 82nd, can get a deserved winner for Real Sociedad, which is definitely one of the teams that are missing 
back there. I will work next year to get a few more Spanish teams as well. Betis, who are the top winners, <laughs> get a 3-1 win at Osasuna, but I haven't seen much of it. And I saw the highlights of Barcelona, Cadiz. Uh... Ronald Kuma came out before the game. Please don't expect much. Yeah, duh. I actually, I told yes, yes, my wife, the one thing that I hate by if, of big clubs like Barcelona is that even when they should know better, uh, that they expect a trophy and yes, Roma Kuma is not the best coach, but at least at, uh, at the moment he gives the youth some chance and some experience and maybe something is building. But I, this all this crisis talk, uh, it doesn't help going forward. That's uh, my personal opinion. I know Ronald Kuman after the season, gone. Get a new, a new guy in, but uh, break in a few talents, maybe build something. Barcelona needs to now go through this valley. I think there is light at the end of the horizon because there are some young players. But they're showing yesterday again, nothing to talk home about. And then a really, really, really bad red card. Uh, and I mean bad for, for the referee because they're young. He first plays the ball and he pulls his leg away. And that this is then given a second yellow card. And I'm not sure. Uh, in this case, VAR could have intervened. Didn't look good. Memphis Depay missing uh, two chances and Barcelona just cannot get anything going. And uh, as I said, Barcelona is in crisis, but don't make the crisis bigger. Put some calm in there. Yes, this season is going to be a write-off. Start building. I mean, we have seen this uh, 20 years, years ago. You just need to get off your high horse. That's at least my personal opinion. Well, that was it for me for La Liga. Please, anything you might want to add, uh, join below uh, if you want to get any stats, standings, expected standings, and, and so on. There will be a stats cast coming either late to today or early tomorrow. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.